Hey everybody, how you doing? And welcome to another edition of Frank's Favorites, where I go over some of my favorite apps, mobile apps and desktop or laptop apps that have just enabled me to run my business smoothly. And I've just scoured the earth looking at a lot of different apps. Now, you'll notice that a lot of the apps I talk about are not super expensive. Just because something costs more does not mean that it's the best and that you have to go out there and get it. All right. I managed to run my business very efficiently and very successfully um, with a low operating budget because I've just found things that work. There are a lot of developers out there, a lot of app developers that are trying to get their name out. They've just created great platforms and they exist. They might not have a lot of marketing behind them. <laughs> they should hire me. Um, but they are great platforms nonetheless. And I've tried out a lot. I've tried out a lot of social media platforms, a lot of email marketing platforms, um, a lot of anything that can, I mean, you name it, I've tried it. So some of the things that I'm going to be reviewing, as you can see up here, these are actually all my tabs, and we'll talk about that in a second, but, you know, I have uh, our email, our calendar, Asana, uh, Facebook uh, Business Manager, we've got our Slack channel for the company, we have Smart Metrics for our Instagram, I'm going to be reviewing that, Community for Twitter, which I'm going to be um, reviewing that as well. Social Pilot, their Smart Q, which I'm trying out. I'm actually loving it right now. Of course, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Zoho Books, which um, I think is a great alternative to Quicken SEO Profiler. I actually learned about this one from Sam Hurley, and I use it, and my my team loves it, so that's what we use. Of course, Google Analytics. There's Hotjar for content analysis and 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 hotspots. I also use Sumo Me, which I'm going to be reviewing. My favorite, favorite, favorite email marketing automation platform, Active Campaign, based here in Chicago. Whoop, whoop, Chicago. I went to their corporate office. Man, they have a lot of great things coming out. So I'm going to be reviewing that. Of course, here's Epictions, which is uh, very similar to like Buzz Sumo for content curation. I'm going to be reviewing that. Quiller for making um, drafting proposals. I tell you, my proposals get so many positive reviews. We're going to be talking about that. Of course, here's hosting for like InMotion, Prezi. Use Prezi for a lot of my presentations. Um, and of course, Podbean for my podcast. So those are some of the things I'm going to be reviewing. But today, today I want to talk about my favorite browser, Ghost Browser. I had the pleasure of interviewing the, the, the creators of Ghost Browser, husband, wife, team, super nice people, and it's, they're on my podcast, R&R, so that's the letter R, the letter N, the letter R, R&R, Real and Raw with Franklin Rivera, check it out, and they told me about, you know, how they came up with this browser, and some things that are coming in the future with this browser, and I love it. I love it. Matter of fact, I tried it out, and you're probably gonna think I'm crazy, but guess what? I decided to pay. Yes, you heard it. Pay for this browser. A lot of people say, Why in the world am I going to pay for a browser? Look, I only pay for stuff if it's really good. Believe me, I try a lot of stuff. Come on, who are you fooling? A lot of you people, if you're not trying, doing 30-day trials and 14-day trials. I know you do it. If you like it, you get it. Well, I did it. I loved it. So I got it. And it is totally worth it, especially for a lot of you digital marketers, social media marketers out there. Ghost Browser is the way, capital T-H-E, the way to go. So I'm going to show you or explain to you why. Now, I am not an expert yet with Ghost Browser, even though I've been using it a lot. But I think one of the things you'll notice is you're like, wait a minute, that looks like Chrome. Well, Ghost Browser was built off of the Chrome platform, if I'm saying it right. So the first thing I loved, you can see all of my extensions up here. Okay? All of my extensions. I use these a lot. My SMS, text from your computer, Flipboard, my scheduling system, my marketing automation, Okay, Product Hunt. I love Product Hunt. Grammarly for correct, correcting my grammar. There is Zoho Social. 
Um, there's social pilot, community, okay? You name it. It's up there. So I did not have to worry about plugins or extensions being compatible with Ghost Browser. All right? I just added them. It was that easy. But let me show you where Ghost Browser really shines. All right? If you notice up here, in the upper left-hand corner, it says V2M2 Group. So that's the name of my company, V2M2 Group. If I click on that, you'll notice it opens up projects. What the heck is a project? A project is a bunch of tabs that you have saved particular to whatever you want to be particular to. So right here, uh, I'm a professor at Aurora University, adjunct professor. So this is where I go to if I need to open up anything that has to do with Aurora University, my email, my my syllabus, the uh, online grading, our our workplace. I mean, anything that has to do with AU is saved and it's locked. So you can see right there is locked. So what's going to happen is whenever I say open project, it is going to open up all of those tabs in that project and log me in. Really nice. Here's all my entertainment tabs. Here's all the tabs for my clients. So anybody that I'm working with, I can go to this project, open it up, and it'll open up all the tabs. Now, what's really nice is, let me click on that. Let me open it up. So I hope I'm not going to land on, matter of fact, I'm going to click on new tab. Okay. All right, so let me open it up again. All right, so there you go. All right, so as you can see, under my clients, it opens up all of their tabs. Now, if you've noticed, they are all color-coded. So each of these colors coincides with a client of mine. All right. All of these other tabs are just my regular social media, digital ma uh, marketing management tools right here that I need to get to on a regular basis. All of these are already signed in. So I am literally at one time signed in to one, two, three, four different Twitter accounts and one, two, three, four different Facebook accounts. Now, if you notice, a lot of times you have to sign out and then sign back in in order to access different Facebook. I mean, you can access it from your social media management software, but sometimes I want to actually go in and look at all of this uh, from one spot. You know, I might want to go into more in-depth Twitter analytics, things like that. I might want to log in, be logged into my own um, LinkedIn and log into a client's LinkedIn as well. So everything is signed in, is already signed in. And if I click this, it'll show you the names of all those clients for all those colors, okay? That's what I love about Ghost Browser. Whenever I start off in the day, I open up my own project, which is my own company, and it opens up all of my tabs in my workflow. So I am automatically signed into all of my accounts, my email, my calendar, Asana, Slack, Communit, Social Pilot, Smart Q, Eventbrite, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook Business Pages, Hotjar, Google Analytics, I mean, Prezi, you name it, I'm signed in, I am ready to go. I mean, how easy is that? So you can have with the paid browser, I believe, unlimited projects. Don't quote me on that, but unlimited projects. And I love that because every time we pick up new projects, if we're working in the browser, we can have all, everything related to that client in a project. So if we're doing market research, if you want to look at you know, their, their social and their online profile, we can look at everything in one 
place. I just chose to group mine together by clients, company. This is on any websites that we're working on. So if we're working on several websites all at once, we can open that up and be signed into all of the websites at one time. You talk about a time saver? This is crazy. I mean, this is crazy good. So, but you can also, you know, organize it in any other way. You might decide, you know what? I want to organize my projects by client. Client name, client name, client name, client name, okay? You might want to do it that way. However you want to do it. Now, a nice thing too about Ghost Browser is you are able to actually open up different tabs with different proxies, like different IP addresses. I mean, how nice is that? Now, I haven't had to do that yet, but a browser that does that, I think, is very powerful because you might just have to sign in with, with um, you know, by proxy, and you can do it within different tabs. Now, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm an expert with that or I really understand it much, um, how I would use it. I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't had to do that. But as I understand it, that is a pretty unique feature with Ghost Browser. So anyway, you got to check it out. Ghost Browser, G-H-O-S-T Browser. Okay. Um, try it out. You're going to love it. I don't think you're ever going to go back to another browser. I really hope that I did the developers and the creators of Ghost Browser some, um, some due diligence and um, but I, by uh, presenting the browser in a way that I use it, in a way that I like it, I, I just love it. And, and I think that more people should know about it. And that's why I wanted to start with the one platform that starts off my day. I open up Ghost Browser and right away I'm signed in and I have my entire workflow right here. So I organize it working from left to right. Now, some people might be like, yeah, you shouldn't read your email first. You know, and I normally don't. All right. Because I've already checked it on my phone anyway. But when it comes to like project management, you know, I got Asana. I'm checking on how Facebook is done. I have to check on my internal communications. Then these are all of our social media tools. OK, then we go to our analytics tools and our email marketing and then ancillary tools. So that's how it works. So I have my entire workflow across the top. Um, and hey, you can design it any way you want. I have all of these tabs pinned, all right? So they're pinned there. If I ever want to change them, all right, I can go to V2M2 group. I can unlock it, which means now if it's unlocked, whatever is open right now, next time I open it up, that is what's going to be opened up. If I start a new tab and go to someplace else, that is what's going to be opened up whenever I click on V2, M2 group. However, I like to keep it locked because what has happened is sometimes I've just opened things up that I don't need to be opened. And a couple times um, I may have closed the tab. I didn't mean to close. Then I closed my browser and I didn't, I didn't save it because it wasn't locked. So because it's locked, now whatever I open this up is going to be the same things that open up all the time. All right, so we've got our website here. See how that opens up? Actually, that's YouTube. <laughs> our uh, hip hop artist. So that's actually going to open up. And I had my website up here. I don't know what I did with it. I thought I just clicked on it. But anyway, everything is already logged in. I mean, look, my Twitter. My Twitter account's already logged in. My LinkedIn is logged in. Okay. My Asan is logged in. My Epictions or Epic Beat for my content curation already logged in. My Prezi already logged in. It's great. You talk about really saving you time. This is great. Okay. So anyway, that's my review of Ghost Browser. Check it out. Please uh, let me know what you think about it. And... As always, peace and God bless. I'm out.